Welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new, my name is Monet. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to today's video. Today we are trying out this unit right here from Wiggins Hair. I'm always a fan of blonde. It's a little bit too big for my head, but it looks good. And I honestly don't mind it being more of a larger wig. I love how it looks. I pretty much prepped it prior to, so let me zoom in so that you guys can see what it's giving. Giving for it. <laughs> so let me... Let me pull my wig just a little further down. It allows me to make my forehead smaller. Cause baby, if you got a big forehead, that's one thing about wigs, you can definitely play around with it. Let's go ahead and get straight into this unboxing. I wanted to show you guys exactly what you would get when you opened up your package, you guys. And it was packaged really well. First off, for one thing I noticed is the band, y'all. I love these type of bands that have this grip in it. Oh my goodness. It just keeps your wig in place. And y'all, do y'all see this plucking job? Y'all know I am a girl who plucks. I love customizing my units, but I have to give it to them just straight out the package. This looks really, really good. I love how natural the hairline looks as well and the lace feels and looks thin. Let's go ahead and move into the styling, you guys. What I did was just customizing my unit. Um, I'm taking just my shears and cutting it. I like to cut around my ears just to make sure from ear to ear it's fitting comfortably, you know, because sometimes the lace can be a little bit too big and that's typically where it is for most of my units. It's always that ear tab. So I do recommend just making sure that it fits your head. I like to press my comb in on the edges just to make sure that everything is nice and laid for my male, especially before we get ready to put this band on. So I like to take the edge of the comb, which is like that silver tail, and just press the edges of the lace. You can always put like a powder on top of, you know, your lace if you feel like it's looking too shiny. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of my face powder just on the edges, just to kind of make sure everything is blended. And then I'm gonna spray it one more time, like on the top, just to make sure like the size and stuff is down because sometimes child they be doing what they want to do i like the fact that it's blending so easily i'm just gonna do light baby hairs that's what i'm feeling let's do some really light i almost don't want to do none but i feel like with this type of hairstyle because it makes like my forehead is real big i just be needing and i like you honestly don't have to do no baby hairs if you didn't want to but we're gonna do light baby hairs because I don't know. I just feel like I need a little bit. We ain't gonna do too much. I'm gonna make them real short. Just like kind of brushed out in the front knot. So I'm just gonna go ahead and fix my baby hairs. You guys have seen my baby hair tutorials here and there. If you are new to my channel, hey girl, hey, thank you guys so much for tuning in and just stumbling on my channel. I appreciate it. Um, I typically do the same thing to my baby hairs, whether I wear thicker baby hairs or just like sparse, like we're gonna do, do today. So. I'm just taking my mini curler, which honestly, you really could skip this step because honestly, my baby hairs were short, y'all. I just really be obsessed with curling them, really, like just to be 100. But, and y'all, I really like the way it looks. I'm able to part it. I just wanted to show you guys. I'm not really sure if I'm decided completely on a side part or a middle, but honey, all I knew was the wig was giving. It was definitely giving what it needed to be gave, okay? So y'all always tell you don't skip the step of using your wax stick and getting a hot comb because baby when I say that helps with the melt and just giving you that scalp effect and looking like it's growing out of your roots, it's going to always give. Um, and y'all quickly I'm just going to go ahead and pop some curls in. Now I did this off camera just to save time but I am using my regular curling arm which I'm super excited about because the hair it took to my curling arm and for me this one is a really... Um, it doesn't get really, really hot. Like, so that's why I was really surprised and why I don't typically use this all the time because I really do like the curls. I just wish it got hotter. But I put my heavy duty spray in. It's the same spray that I use to lay my wig. Okay. 
And y'all, I'm just doing my finishing touches. I always, after I curl my units, I love to take my wax stick again and just really run over the hair here and there just to make sure I'm getting the look that I'm going for. And I'm always going for scalp. Like, I'm always going for scalp. Um, I wanted to do a side part, but I love this because you really can part this unit anywhere and it looks so pretty. Y'all, the highlights just really have me. Like, this color combination, the low lights with the highlights, it's everything. Actually guys, so this is the finished look. I think it came out really, really pretty. It's giving every, everything. Um, I love how full this unit is. One thing I have to stand on with Wiggins is that they have not disappointed me. I have reviewed plenty of units from, they have been consistently full. I did have some shedding, you know, with this unit. It's not excessive. As far as the curls staying, I didn't put much in this side. Like I actually like the tassel look. Um, and honestly, this, this is cute. It's giving me kind of pushed back. And I didn't put too many baby hairs on it. Very much so minimal. Um, and that's what I was going for, you guys. But overall, y'all, it's 10 out of 10. I do recommend <laughs> the hair the lace melting like they did their thing with this like this unit is definitely going to catch eyes just because it is gorgeous this is what it's looking like like, it is so full it's 24 inches um and then i ended up getting a medium cap size because y'all i really can do a small but i typically go anywhere from a small to a medium just depending on um but i love one thing is that they have a nice lace space and if your head is a little bit larger than mine i honestly feel like it would have fit perfect i had to cut just a little bit on each side just to make sure that it fit you know above my ear as far as like when i'm placing my unit when it came plucked so if you are someone who was looking for a unit and you don't want to do a lot of plucking definitely recommend now for me i still did my touches meaning i still try to pluck a little bit of the unit but it didn't need too much plucking i bleached the knots i like to bleach my knots on my lighter units just because it gives that more realistic scalp look everything went smoothly the hair is gorgeous i cannot stop staring at myself thank you guys so much for watching i'll check you in my next video later